Good morning. You have a hot light. We all have crazy hair. It's true. I have a birthmark. It looks like a heart, or at least they say it looks like a heart. It is a heart. Yay. See? Yay. Like down the middle. Yay. I'm glad to have a heart tattooed on me. That's amazing. Snowing outside. Snowing Big, down. huge, soft, fluffy flakes. If you guys can see them. I don't know. Go. Oh, I see them. Can you guys see them? <laughs> Big, huge, fluffy They're flakes. Really and I'm riding today. I'm excited to go back to the barn. I am scared to death to ride Sabrina. Do you have any good advice for me? Let me ride her first. Yeah, that is a good idea. So it's true. I am having my lesson today and Fiona is going to be shocked when I go there and say um, I'm not riding my horse until somebody else rides her first or we lunge her because I want to try that and see if it works. And I should say that it's not just Sabrina no, that's been acting up. Or lunch her. Why? Because you want to see if you want to ride her? Because I'm a rider. You're not riding her first. I do not need any more kids going into the bars. But I don't think that you would go into the to the boards because <laughs> you can stop. Because I stayed on. Yeah, you totally stayed All on. All those times she bolted. Yeah, you nailed it. Anyway, that's what's gonna happen today. I'm excited. I always make all these plans. I'm like, okay, when I go to the barn this time, this is gonna happen, and this is gonna happen, and then I get there, and Fiona says, okay, we're gonna do this. I say, okay, let's do that then. <laughs> I, I, She's really good, don't get me wrong. She listens to everything I say, and she talks back and forth with me, and, and we plan it all out and stuff, but I always have like this big, huge agenda, and then we go there, I get distracted, and yeah, that's what happens. So hopefully today, I'll stay on course, and you guys will be able to hold me accountable because of our already told you my plans and we'll see what happens. She doesn't want to become a cowgirl. I do not want to become a cowgirl. <coughs> you are a cowgirl. He or, said, fell enough lots of times. Yeah, how many times did you fall? Four? I'm pretty sure. We're even. Four and four? So um, listening to all of your comments or reading all of your comments yesterday and talking to a lot of you, I talked to more of you guys yesterday than ever before in the history of our channel. And it, all from all of that, I was able to realize that I was starting to feel overwhelmed, like this was like a huge problem and what were we going to do? And now I can see that horses spook, they get like this in winter it's, and that um, obviously we need to work more on what we're doing. and. But yeah, this is just one of the things that happens when you ride horses and, and I feel much better about it. So thank you guys so much for that. I'm determined to rising trot and this is what we've been doing the last couple of mornings. Gabby and I are here. We are going to get our girl. I swear she sees us and she's like, oh, here come the stupid people again. <laughs> Do you think she's like that? Anyway, we're going to get her no. and I'm going to ride and I'm going to ride like she's I'm not afraid. <laughs> no, I need to tell Fiona. There's no falling off. I have, no, can't happen. Lola's out. Lola's out. Oh, Lola's out. Amazing. I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. I know you want to bite Sabrina's that's butt. Lola. Oh, that's Lola. I'm looking, thinking, who are you, Lola? You're out. You're Fiona's horse. You're off stall rest. <coughs> hey. She's like, remember that time you took me for a walk? I love you. She's pretty big. Uh, no, because it's a hill. Oh. Sabrina, we're going riding. It'd be nice to me. Remember, I'm the girl who always gives you treats. Oh, so she wants to make a deal with you. Yeah, let's make a deal. And there's Spencer. And there's Tex. And the trees over there. Spencer's like, what are you doing with my girl? I didn't say you could have her. Oh, it's cold out. It's like eating snow. All right, she's giving me the eye. She always gives us the eye. Yeah, all right, let's see what happens. Tex actually calls for her. 
Yeah, he's not paying attention, so maybe we can sneak. Maybe we can sneak her out. Whenever I put my hair up, my helmet doesn't fit perfectly. Anyway, I got her here. We had a big talk, and she's gonna be a nice girl. We talked it out. All right, Sabrina? See? She's like, yeah, I'm gonna be nice. A nice furry girl. Lady's like, what? You're gonna ride another horse? That's so rude. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting the silent treatment. Get on you, halt, back up, and jog on. What did she do? Threw her head up and shouted faster. Yeah. So do you think she'd be better in a martingale? Good girl. No, because she doesn't throw her head up. She does throw her head up, though, every single time before she goes fast. Yeah, but not far enough that a martingale's gonna stop her. Oh, okay. Because if you put a martingale on that tight, you're yeah, a murder. Okay, yeah, I don't yeah. know. No, um, if she threw her head up like really high, yeah, it would slow her down a little, but she's still gonna spook. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, no, that's not going to affect. So, was she controlling her head? Uh -huh. Kelly was? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, see, Still that's fine. the thing. I don't have the skills to control her head that much yet. Because when you when you try to get on her head too much, you pull on her mouth. Yeah, I know, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. Kelly, try and leave her head alone a little bit and see if she'll go straight through the poles. Notice how when Kelly goes down to the pole, she sinks back into her seat bones, though, and she yeah. allows her hips to float over. I didn't see it. She didn't touch her mouth at all. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I just said. It's because we lunged her first. Kelly's <laughs> like, no excuses. <laughs> now, start rising the western saddle for me. Yes, it'll feel funny, but, and don't worry about your toes. So, see how she comes forward and hits the front of the saddle with her thighs? Do a circle, kiddo. So, as she rises, her thighs are actually hitting the pommel of the saddle. That's okay. She's going to tap. Tap, 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 tap. You don't have to come out of the saddle very far. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't think I have the right balance then for that yet. Yeah, you do. It's to strengthen your legs. We're gonna work on that. Yeah.
comes down in the line. There you go. You're a pass. Good job. Oh, obviously I'm not awesome at it, but my goal was to learn how to lunge, and my goal was to learn how to rising trot and I was not awesome but I did it you guys I got the feel of it and I, I think I can keep it going and I'm gonna practice and I'm gonna be so good at that and I feel like as soon as I master that I'm gonna really change the direction I can take my riding in because once I can do it I feel like I can do more for the first time ever I held an apple up and told her to take a bite and she bit it right in half here give her this half you want to try it again no oh. You're such a good girl today. Yeah. And she's so good. Hey, Sabrina. There's a puppy. There's a puppy. She, look at, meet the puppy. puppy. Help me. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, look at Tex. Tex is like, I like the horse. I like the pony. Or the All right, here we go. Gabby's been dying to do this with our dog. She wants to bring her here and jump. Ooh. <laughs> Molly's like, whoa. <laughs> He did awesome. Do it again. <laughs> Woo! Guys, I posted. It might not have looked pretty, but I actually posted. I can tell. You can tell. I can tell. Mom wasn't doing this. My typical bath around. What was I doing instead? You're doing this. You're doing. Like, well, that's something. I, I know. I have that's why I could tell you're posting. I was like, oh, she's posting to Kaylee. So, and Kaylee's like, I'll grab my bit and warm it up and watch. Okay, so this is what I think happened. I think before Fiona was telling me, or people were telling me, you just have to make her go. And I was like, kicking and nudging and yeah. I was just being so assertive and aggressive and uh, she didn't like that and today Bumping. I tried to be super mindful of how I asked her and what I was doing with my body and I was determined not to freak out if she did anything. I learned to squeeze the reins whenever I saw her spooking and she almost tried to spook a whole bunch of times but I totally managed it. I was so discouraged last week and I feel like honestly I'm I'm getting it. Like, I'm gonna actually get this. I think I'm gonna get this. It's, it was amazing. She was amazing. We had the best lesson ever. I learned to lunge. I learned to post. And she didn't spook. And it was awesome. Comment of the day goes to Riley Star 24 And she says, OMG, my horse does the same thing that Sabrina did. The only difference between what Sabrina and what my horse did was that my horse bucks. I'm so glad she doesn't buck. Why well, does he buck? You could try lunging, all the horses were crazy today, except for ours. You could try lunging before riding Sabrina for five to 10 minutes. It will drain some of that extra energy out and we did that. When you lunge, just let her go as fast as she wants. For example, say she was trotting calmly, then all of a sudden she spooks and gallops. Just let her gallop because it will drain even more of her extra energy out. I also have one more tip. You could try asking a more experienced rider to ride Sabrina. I could tell at the time that Gabby was riding Sabrina over the pools, that she was galloping on purpose. She was tired and wanted Gabby to get off. That was true. Sabrina thought, hmm, when I galloped with Sophia riding me, she fell off. Maybe if I gallop with Gabby riding, she'll fall off too. The time that she galloped with Sophia was because she spooked, but most of the time when Gabby was riding her, she galloped because she wanted Gabby off. If a more experienced rider rides Sabrina, that rider may have more control over Sabrina. And if that rider has more control, then that rider may be able to teach Sabrina that it is not okay to gallop just because she is tired. I hope those tips help. I was not, it was not my intention to offend anyone. So if I did, I'm sorry. And can you please make this comment of the day? Cause I've never been comment of the day before. And I really want to be, it would mean the world to me if I got to be comment of the day. So I, the reason I picked that comment was because she suggested every single thing that I wanted to do today and we did all of that. I got a ex more experienced rider to ride her before me so that I could see that it wasn't anything. And she cantered over the people. Yeah, so it wasn't anything, it was it was us. It was like 100% us. It was it was me. Her yeah, it was definitely me. If you guys play SSO, so stable, um, and do you guys like the Connemaras? The girls are obsessed with the Connemara. Oh, I'm not. Oh, Even Gabby not is. Too. Look at how tall it is. Alrighty. 
okay, that is it for today, but we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.